Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use how to process your one day um, without critical sounding data. How to process them and also how to combine them to make a profile out of single one day data, out of various one day data. So we're going to be using data um, that we acquired as um, in Google. Okay, we're going to be using this data. And right here, you're going to be seeing a map and uh, um, this is locations of the various 1D verse data that we took. Alright, so we took um, verse 1 right here, verse 2 right here, verse 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay, so this data was, was acquired to determine uh, uh, widgets, the flow of widgets due to the, due to the uh, uh, deposits of wastes around this area. Near or zero for waste deposits. So we are investigating to understand how the chemicals, the, the materials have infiltrated the, the, uh, the water table around this area. So that's the purpose of this survey that we've done. All right, and this is data that we acquire from the place, from number one to number seven. All right, so I'm going to show you how to use them to, um, how to analyze them and interpret them on, on IP2, okay? So this is our IP2. And uh, in Excel, I plotted this in the data 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So, this is the data. Alright, so, the next step is number 1. So, what I'm going to do is go to file. And then, um, move this one. Okay. And then, move this one. What I'm going to do is, is to go over here. Copy the points, copy the different columns, and fill up the table in your IP2. So you're going to copy AB2 and then, right? So I copy here. And just copy. And then copy. And you see, the value of the paste. Okay, paste there. So what next? We copy our activity. So let's copy everything to and get value. And you see, the value and the paste point. And paste. Okay, it just pasted our receipt because of the option we chose. So, um, let's go here and copy all the data from receipt. Copy the receipt and go to the receipt and the column and paste it. And paste. Alright. It is pasted now. Okay. So, um, these are the three basic things that we need to put our charts. So but then if you click on this, if you click on this, it shows you your K factor, the geometric factor, okay? You if you click on this, it leaves us a visibility. Okay. So the next thing is a save test. It's a save test. I've saved it before, but let me receive it again. Right, click on save. You want to place on the place, yes. So it's replaced now. And then um, Say okay. When you say okay, it's going to want you to save the LTG file. I've seen it before. Then we look at it here. Then we we'll say save the yeah, place. Okay. So I'm going to use any of these, depending on the one that suits my interpretation. I'm going to use average for this tutorial. Okay. Then it takes you into the window. And then this window right here is for your chart, your, your um, metal spacing to to get charts, to, to receive the charts. Okay, here is your A, B over 2, Y, U is the value of your receipt. So the more A, B over 2 increases, the receipt is changing, depending on the condition you are in. So, and then, for my geology, I decided that here you should have up to three formations. Up to three formations. So, what you're going to do is, uh, um, when you move this, you see that when you move up and down, the receipt value is changing. When you move this one, the thickness is changing, so you are going from a higher, from a lower the thickness value to a higher thickness value, or you are actually going to part into the ground this way. So you see that your height is changing because the height is like density and depth is changing. So the thickness and depth are equal because you just have only one formation. So when you split it, you click on split, right click, click on, on split, and you have two formations now. So that when you move 
my move gives you that you have created two conditions. Okay. Or my rescue again, my rescue again on the charts. Still, you have two different conditions. So, whichever interpretation suits you, make sure that you have a miss error, that the miss square error is not too high. So, right now, our miss square uh, error is 142%. So, you have to, let's assume that this is our first layer. This is our first layer. I'm going to receive value 6.49. Okay. Now, um, for the second layer, we we'll say uh, that this is having 16.8. 16.8. Okay, and then for the top layer, let's call this our top layer. Let's call this our top layer. The effective value is at eight. Average is value of okay. It's one point six. Okay. Then um and then next we are going to order. now it's good for us to do this side by side with other um other points. It's help us to give the right interpretation to each of the points. Okay, so let's do this. Do this window. Open another window. Another window for go to. Open another window from Google 2. Go to your file. Remove this point. Open the Excel. Shift. Go to Google 2. Go to Google 2. Let's write to Google 2. Copy the table. Copy C. Paste it right here. Copy the receipt values. Okay, let's see if you this. Copy. And paste it right here. Control. Paste. Alright, so this. Save the test. I'm going to. So let's. Uh, we saved it before. I'm going to save. I'm going to save. Replace. And then choose. Uh, okay. We have saved the 8 digit before. Let's receive it again. I'm going to. Go to okay, same. So, they don't okay. Yeah, now we're replacing. Choose average, okay. So, I've plotted this. I'm going to need to compare our second, uh, our second point. So, this is our first point and the second point. Let's do another point again. Let's minimize the other point. We can just compare the leaves and compare and contrast. Compare and contrast. Mm -hmm. And then change this to change this to change this to So I'm going to show you. I did a okay. Here's the two. I'm going to see similarities between the two and the other. We have similarities between the two. The and I'm going to and absorb the books. Okay. So this is the one, and two, so, and three. Okay. So now we we'll have this. The reason why we have to open at least three of them is to um, is to get us in seeing the pattern that is consistent across the area and so on. It's going to show how consistent it is and then help you in your interpretation. So we respond to the basis of the Let me scroll this. Let me call this my first layer. I call this the second layer. Split. I call this the third layer. Switch, call it the first name. Um, yeah, um, okay. It's going to be the first name. Okay. What's it? It's something like this. Let me expand this so I can see it too. So you see, error is plus two point one. Plus two point one. It can be lower than that option. Yes, and there is this twenty nine. We are having the written square error up to eight point nine. So we have to have a bit lower than that. So the idea of this is very easy. Okay, and um, 
Okay, the treasure boxes. And then this. So, let me give you this one for number 3. Let me give you this one for number 3. And then, for number 2, let's split. Let's call this. Something is very on here. We can have a piece of the first one. Second layer split. Let's go in here. Um, let's split this. This way. Something happened here to increase the city. Okay, the first layer. I think I have. Let me join this too, okay? Because I'm hoping that we can see. So I. Um, so remember, you can give it your own interpretation. This is my own interpretation for these layers. Okay? I'll take this in my this, take this this way. Okay. That's that. You have how many layers? You have one, two, three. Okay, it's just three layers. Okay, just three layers. Let's make it four splits. Okay. Um, splits, it's here, right here. Okay, so the rest layers of some. In this place, I'm going to create a profile. I want to now create my small session so that you see how it's done. Create a single session. No? To create a single session, you have to use add five. Add five. So your single session, you want to start from number seven. You want to start from, from seven. Here's the picture. Here's the picture. You want to start from seven, and then take one. Take two, take three, and take four. So from seven, seven will come first. Okay. Add five again. Um, Let's see, let's move us. One, two, three, four, okay. Next. Let's focus one. Okay. Now, when you add the second, add the second point, the, the system now observes that you're trying to create a profile. So it wants to create a file, a DAT file, create a profile. So let's call it a uh, profile. Four, five, uh, seven, comma one, two, comma three, and four. Let's call that profile C. So it's I started plotting the profile now. Okay. This is the one, this is the seven, this is the seven, this is the one. Okay, okay. It plus seven. So from seven to one, this is what the profile looks like. So you want to add another one. Add um two, go two, add one two, open, in that folder. You see? The place, okay. So they've added one. Okay, I've added two before. I've added two before. I've added two before. Um, and I'll need to delete number two. I'll need to remove this point. Then, um, okay, let's leave this one. Let's leave number two from there. Okay, so we have these two points. We have these two points. The next thing we are going to have is. Move up number three and four. Add uh, number three. Open. Save. Replace. So this is number three. Add uh, three. Add uh, number four. Number four. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay. Save. Replace. Now, before I continue, I want to change these numbers, okay? So that they will mean what's happening in reality, okay? So let's say um, you have measured it in the field, but um, I want to assume that from here to here, I want to assume that from here to here is 70. From here to here is, um, let's say, um, 60 meters. And then from here to here, from here to here, it's 60 meters from here to here, 10 meters from here to here, another 10 meters from here to here, let's say uh, 4 meters, okay? Let's assume that, assume that from 0 to 1 is 60 meters, then from 1 to 2 is 10 meters, so 60 plus 10, 70 meters, okay? So you, it's going to be a cumulative uh, distance, right? 
So, um, the other nothing meters is to get 18. Then, if you, okay, remember that 2 is twice. So, let me uh, write something. So, if we combine it together, 18, and then plus another 40 meters, that is 120. Okay, so from, from 7 to 4 is 120 meters. Okay, this is meters. So, if your elevations vary, okay, let's say at this point, maybe at this point, there is a different in elevation, let's say 2 meters difference in elevation at 1 to 3. So, if there's a the difference in elevation, let's call the elevation here 2, 2 meters, let's call the 3 meters, let's call it 3 meters, let's call it 2 meters, 2 meters, let's do this. The elevation spike to the one that is not to zero. Now, okay. Now, this is what you have to write in. This is what you have to write So, with this now, we now understand how uh, how the relativity varies across this profile. It's right to understand the flow of groundwater. It's right to understand the chets. It is in the that flow into this place. It's right to understand whether this chets affected. Um, yeah. So, this is a low receivity, very low receivity. So, something happened here to alter. You will see that, that the, the, the lateral um, continuity here was, was hampered by this. So, this is, uh, um, there is an incursion of, uh, of some uh, chemical compounds into the ground, some leachets that have affected that brought about a low receivity. Okay, so that uh, change in elevation would have been the reason why we can see a very high receptive, uh, resistive layer, which you cannot find here at the center, because remember the division is like this, it went up and went down. Okay, so that is that. That is how you can use your very data to make it profile. Okay, hope you've learned. Please kindly subscribe to my channel and then be ready to learn more, more difficult tools such as this. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.